Hello viewers, today we will talk about APM, Application Performance Monitoring Tool. Then we will also talk about monitoring and observability. So what is meant by monitoring, what is meant by observability and what is the, differ uh, the difference between these three, APM, monitoring and observability. So let's get started. So APM stands for Application Performance Monitoring. It is, as it is the name says, Application Performance Monitoring is a tool to locate the source of application performance issue. Even so, APM goes well beyond what might be expected from basic performance monitoring offerings. APM is often used with a modern application as a way of accessing the user experience. As a general level, this might mean tracking an application load along with KPIs. Doing so not only enables an organizer to monitor the user experience, it also provides visibility into how that experience changes as an application's workload increases. So what makes APM so powerful? So these are the abilities which makes it powerful. So with APM, uh, you can see exactly what your application are doing while interacting with real users. With APM, you can discover problems that might be limiting scales, keeping customers from using your product successfully or damaging your brand experience. With APM tool, you can identify when your application are struggling and why. With APM tool, you can identify where applications are wasting resources so you can tune to reduce expenses and increase availability. See the historical trends and proactively prevents service shortages. New Relic is one of the APM tools which you can use. So with APM tools, what are the benefits that we get? For the first benefit is we are able to understand how your, uh, your application are being used, how many users are using the system at once, for how long, where are the problems, and we can see a specific subset of users pull served, what is the causing a problem for a specific customers. APM tool will help us to understand um, your requests as well. How much traffic are you serving or are, are you receiving from where it is coming, how fast you are responding, which aspect of application are slow. With APM tool, we are, uh, it helps us to understand uh, resource users as well. How much CPU are you using? Is your application uh, leaking memory? Are process bloated because of poor code execution? Are you running unnecessary database queries? Will your application scale gracefully with growth? APM uh, tools helps to help us to track how things are changing, what are the impacts of new deploys, are you introducing new problems, are you fixing the problems you think you are. With APM tool, uh, you can know what is not working, is your application experiencing error, why, who is affected, are specific code path or database queries slowing down your application, what can you do to fix things. What is observability? Like APM, observability is a method used to determine the overall health of the complete IT, IT infrastructure and workloads. The CPM collects data from KPIs, observability agrees data from various sources to paint a picture of system overall health observability data sources or metrics. Uh, so there are the three things that uh, gives the data to observability. First is the metrics. These generally refers to raw performance data. Metrics might represent anything from the number of CPU cycles being consumed at a given moment to the amount of time any e-commerce application takes to complete a credit card transaction. Second is traces. This helps to monitor the interaction between the component making up a complex system. A network trace, for instance, can track the path pack text to the destination and application trace can also track how application components are used. Third is the logs. Coming in many forms, log can be informational or contain errors or warnings. An informational log entry might be generated, for example, when a process is created, while an error event might be added to a log if that process were to terminate unexpectedly. So what is the difference between APM tool and observability? APM and observ observability tools can ensure a good user experience, but they work towards uh, different uh, goals. Observability takes the data that exists in the logs, metrics, and traces, and even and that use that information to form an overall health assessment. Even though the goal is to ensure a good user experience, observability doesn't directly focus on causing the user experience. Instead, observability applies the principle of control theory, which essentially states that it is possible to understand what's going on with the system by examining its input and output. Examining logs, metrics, and traces collectively enables a tool to access the application's health, which can then be used to determine if users are having a good experience. So what is the difference between APM and observability? APM works by actively collecting internal state data and data related to application resources time. This data correlates directly to the user experience. Some APM tools are designed to monitor the underlying infrastructure in addition to the application itself, which enables the tool to perform root cause analysis when problem occurs. So benefits of observability is better alerting, less time in meetings uh, we can get because we get the alerts in advance or as soon as it happens. 
we get the better visibility with the help of observability and better workflow we can design use case of monitoring is uh, why we should be monitoring uh, first is to availability second is web performance uh, third is api monitoring fourth is security monitoring application performance monitoring and real uh, user monitoring why we need observability so there are the following use case which helps uh, which is in which uh, you can use observability first is application modernization cloud infrastructure observability cost optimization and application security so let's see the difference first is uh, bit and difference between observability and monitoring so observability tells you what a system is at fault uh, and monitoring notifies you that system is at fault so observability gives you why and monitoring gives you what is uh, monitoring just notifies you observability acts as a knowledge base in defining what to monitor and monitoring focus on monitoring the system and discovering faults monitoring focus on collecting data focus on monitoring kpis whereas observability focus on giving context to the data it gives a more complete assessment to the overall environment observability is a uh, traversable map it gives you complete information whereas monitoring is a single plane it gives you limited information observability uh, creates the potential to monitor different events whereas monitoring is the process of using observability so observability uh, is a system which has to be designed to be observed uh, for monitoring uh, almost anything can be monitored uh, monitoring gives uh, tells you whether my, your system is working or not and observability tells you why my system what my system is doing and why it is doing it is observability is passive push and publish both are uh, applicable uh, monitoring is active pull and collect method is there observability includes traces monitoring includes metrics events and logs monitoring uh, is challenge at scale uh, observability helps to isolate issues at scale observability relies heavily on sampling uh, whereas monitoring can provide raw data observability reduces duration of outages uh, monitoring provides rapid response to outages observability generate metrics whereas monitoring collects metrics observability gives you why my system has failed and monitoring gives you what the system uh, what the state of my system at a given point of time so you need to know wh what happened monitoring is there uh, for it why it happened that gives you uh, that this information get me given by observability monitoring is in uh, you you will come to know about the fault using monitoring whereas with observability uh, you know the system performance and observability how can we create this resilience within system that can be used with monitoring how did we fix in the at last time those all things can be there so the bottom line is the observability or is mercil monitoring debate is that they are both vital when managing microservice based application while monitoring tracks the system health of the application observability tells you why it is the, it is performing at a certain way it could be argued that monitoring is simply a subset of observability or part of the process the issue with starting with monitoring alone is that without observability you won't be able to gain the data needed for com contextualized analysis observability encompass monitoring and allows devops professional to understand the root cause of an error and how it is affecting your system thankfully there are tools like instan instana that collect and evaluate this data to make sense of your multi cloud environment so in monitoring versus ability monitoring is a tool or a technical solution that allows your system to watch and understand the state of their system monitoring is done by gathering predefined set of metrics or logs whereas observability is tooling or technical solution that allows teams to debug their system actively observability is exploring the properties and patterns not defined in advance monitoring focuses on a set of predefined system health metrics and how that changes with time logging provides a separate data but it is viewed as in isolation generally monitoring helps to understand what is changing this is helpful when the point of failure of a system or overall un understood and there are fewer unknowns observability is the ability to understand a system in internal state by analyzing the data it is it generates such as logs metrics and traces observability takes monitoring to the next level by not uh, only highlighting what has changed but uh, also it helps you to analyze why it changed why something uh, happened to your system it it will give you uh, helpful information to find the root cause of the issue observability becomes especially important in distributed system where there could be many failures and impossible to foresee the point of failures in advance so monitoring is alerting and overview whereas observability includes dependency analysis and anticipating the future uh, profiling debugging of alerting everything so there are some similarities as well between observability and monitoring first is fix issues uh, by locating and uh, resolving problems observability and monitoring both contribute to the system continued functionality and dependability second is relying on rely on data both use data to identify the problem which is another characteristic they say a deeper exploration of both these location reveals differences and third is demand a deeper understanding furthermore where your uh, 
whether you try to implement monitoring or observability a comprehensive understanding of the system is required particularly in the case of monitoring because in contrast to observability it does not assist you in establishing the connection between various system occurrences so thank you so much for watching today video and if you think the videos are helpful do like the video and subscribe to the channel